Tox and Anders. Hi. Hello. Howdy. What's up? Yes, howdy indeed. I'm actually in Houston, Texas, so that's the proper way to. Wow. <laughs> wow. wow. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Love it. Uh, actually, Anders, are you aware that you're sitting next to not just one of the best actors out there in the business, but an incredible voice actor <sighs> as well? I, I am aware of that, actually. I, uh, um, I'm a big fan of uh, a certain aquatic aviation bird show that she's on. <laughs> Is that, am I allowed to say the title of the show? I, I guess. Probably. I, I like DuckTales, you know? <laughs> yeah, great theme song. Great. And I read the comic books, too. Yeah. So then knowing that you were part of it, I was like, whoa. Uh, anyway. Um, so, uh, yes, I am aware. Well, thank, thank you, you though. But I love, I, uh, good reminders always worthwhile. <laughs> no, because I'm nerding out just like you, uh, big fan of Tokes. And Anders, you impressed me a lot. On, oh, thanks. On Frasier. So uh, congrats on such a great show. I grew up in the 90s. Frasier was on at the house. And so this revival means a lot to a lot of us, you know, and y'all knocked it out of the park. Thank you. Thank so you very much. much. Yeah, I mean, I, I the same way that that you feel about it, you know, it was one of the very few shows that I watched as it was happening. Um, and uh huge huge fan and so to be part of it is uh you know like we're talking to the right guy i was nerding out i still do all the time you know and um it's just such a pleasure to be part of it i mean it's it's every single second honestly is a great time it's never not a good yeah. time <laughs> yeah <laughs> sure and everyone has such great chemistry which i love but i want to know like how does performing in front of a live audience impact your performances uh, hugely, yeah. hugely. It's it's really the the final aspect. They're a scene partner. They're in a, a cast way. member. Absolutely. Yeah, they're a cast member. They should be. I mean, the credits would be so long, but <laughs> uh, we should thank them because uh, you know we'll rehearse it. We'll do like the studio run through, uh, and you know even when it's something that I'm very sure oh this is gonna work. You know, it's still like there's something there's something missing, yeah. and it's. It's the audience, and then when then they're they're there, the energy is just complete, and and they educate us about what type of show we're making. Yeah, it's almost like having an assistant director, you know, because yeah. they're like kind of like indicating where you know the hits mm -hmm, and the misses, mm -hmm. and um, it's uh, and it's so true. You could be so sure that something's going to. I, there, I, there have been two specific points where I'm like, this is gonna kill, <laughs> you know, and I'm kind of like ready to pause for the laughter, and there's nothing, and I'm like, just keep talking, keep talking, keep talking, <laughs> you know, like, and then the opposite is true too, where you think it's just like a nothing burger and then all of a sudden like they're like laughing so hard you have to like you know take yeah, up yeah. take up time so that they can finish you know so um i mean it really keeps you on your toes it keeps you present and uh i think that might be one of the additional reasons that it's so much fun is because you're you're mm -hmm. forced to be in the moment yes. you know it's just oh it's it's so good and I'm sure everyone in, in the audience are diehard Frasier fans. So, like, the Frasier's kind of on, too, at the same time. Yes. That's why they're there. They're big Frasier fans, and they just love it, and they love all y'all. Do y'all have any rituals or routines before filming? Not really. We hug each other and say yeah, good show. We, yeah, we do hug each other. Yeah. Uh, we do a speed read. Yes. You know, yes. that's pretty... Yeah. Uh, normal. Yeah, we Not do so a speed easy. read, and then we, oh, well, we get backstage, and then we hug each other, like, good show, good show, good show, and the music starts, and we all start dancing. Yes, We do yes, dance and around then we dance. to get, like, energy going. Yeah, so. they have us pop out of a little curtain, like uh, Muppets. And, yeah. Uh, you know. And, <laughs> uh, uh, and so, so before that, we get to dance around. Yeah. Always the same song. Yep. You Can Call Me Al, mm -hmm. Paul Simon. Yeah. So that's no, etched into my memory. I love that. Lastly, I wanted to ask, do you have a favorite set from season two or a favorite, you know, I don't know, prop or piece of furniture that you see around? Because I love the sets and they're so detailed and I'm always looking at things at what I can point out. This is so good. I don't know if I'm allowed to say my mm, favorite set from season two. Yeah, maybe not. I do. Maybe season I, one? <laughs> uh, I mean, I'll tell you that the... Mm. My favorite set from season two will be familiar. Yeah, I'll just yeah, say yeah. That. Yeah. Um, oh my god, favorite set from season one. 
I don't know. It's I love the Fraser apartment. Like I really do. Mm -hmm. I love the Fraser apartment and I love Mahoney's. But I think that the episode where we had all the Christmas trees in season one, I yes, loved so much. Yes. It was so ridiculous and lovely. Yes, Christmas episodes always provide the opportunity for adequate theming. Yeah. Um, and I think we've done that okay. this season. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's lots of great, great places. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a Christmas fanatic, so yeah, that Christmas episode. <laughs> I love it. Anything yeah. you can give me Christmas-wise, I'll, I'll take it. But I wanted to thank y'all for being part of the Frasier legacy, and I can't wait to see more from y'all. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.